Hello, everyone. Mustang GT. We're going to shim the rocker arms. The heads have been decked and I'm sure we got too much lifter preload. So we're going to bust the intake off, take the valve covers off, and uh, see what we got. Vacuum lines and wires unplugged. I think for the most part, all the bolts out. It should come out of here now. The bolts on my tool tray over here. And let's see what I forgot. Nothing. It's coming. Okay, right now I'm gonna pull the valve covers off and uh, start pulling some rockers. Okay, valve covers are off. Stock rocker arms, they're not adjustable. But the heads have been decked not exactly sure how much, 20, 30, 40, who knows. Um, these were some ported heads we bought that were ported years ago, so we don't know who did them. Um, and we just stock uh, push rods and rockers, just bolted, you know, just tightened them down and ran the car, and we just kind of feeling that they're just a little too tight. So we've got some shims, and we're gonna pop the rockers off one by one and add the shims. Tech tip, these are shims. There's two different thicknesses, so you can kind of get a, you can either stack them or just use a short one or the tall one. Um, unfortunately, I do not have my calipers to measure how much, how thick these things are. Um, of course not. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of put the thick one on there and I'm going to put the rocker back on and... I'm just going to kind of judge how much preload it's putting down onto the lifter as I tighten the nut. Not very technically accurate, um, but nothing in that motor is, so I'm going to give it a shot. I know this is not the best way to remove rocker arms, but I've already loosened them up. Just so I can do this quickly, so I'm going to pull these two off. one at a time and right down there in this little valley here um, is where you put the shim so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna pull both of these off and everything's coming with it for some reason make sure that's down and it's and it's lifter and if you shimmed it up enough, you probably would want to, so that the little square rocker piece there would still drop in enough to align the rocker arm. But for these, I don't really think it's gonna matter. I'm gonna tighten these down slightly. I'm gonna put them both on again. So let's put this one in there. hole there. I'm just going to get them down enough. And again, you know, really to be judging this correctly, the lifter should be down all the way, but I don't think uh, that one's not, but this one is. 
and I'm just going to go by one. If one's like that, they're all like that. Another job I wanted to tackle that I forgot about earlier was when we put the distributor in, it's supposed to, the TFI module is kind of supposed to aim in a certain direction. That way you know you've got the distributor in. Um, we were in a little bit of a hurry when we were getting it running, and I think I've got it a tooth off that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put top dead center, make sure the valves are closed on that cylinder, and I'll pick up the distributor and move it a tooth and kind of get it back better aligned with where it, it should be. Okay, so after popping a couple of rockers off, um, and also I cranked the motor over uh, to get the lifters pumped up, so I saw oil coming up out of the push rods um, to make sure that wasn't an issue. Um, I guess the preload is good because even putting the finished shim in there caused the rocker arm to be too loose when it was uh, tightened back down. So. That means that uh, either these push rods are longer than stock, which I doubt they look stock, um, or the heads have never really been decked, at least to any noticeable degree. So, peace of mind, didn't take too long to do, um, but I guess I didn't need shims. So, I'll take that off my list of things I need to do to the car and uh, we're gonna move on to suspension next. I've got some new coilover struts for the front and I've got some adjustable shocks for the back um, and uh, we'll be working on those shortly.